March 17th, 2024 in absolutely beautiful, wintry Big Bear Lake, California. And we only have a few more days of winter, guys. I think three or four more days of winter and that's it. Springtime is here, basically. So, anyway, this is the aftermath video. The aftermath is here to show you guys the most of the town, just so you can get a perspective of what everything's looking like. I'm excited to do this video for y'all. It's going to be a long one. I'm, I'm probably going to go through Moonloaf again, but we're going to be going all the way out to Baldwin and then through Moonloaf and then out through the dam area and Fawn Skin. Whoa, what's going on up here? I think some some places in town, like my house got probably a total between this storm, probably about nine inches. I know Upper Moon Ridge got more. They probably got over a foot. The top of Sugarloaf probably got over a foot. But the Big Bear Dam didn't necessarily. because usually that part of town gets the most snow but because these storms were moving in from like northeast to southwest kind of an odd track we are definitely not seeing what we usually would up there all right sorry about that guys i pushed the button on my phone accidentally look at this beautiful view right here that lake is beautiful. And even this side over here. We're headed that way first. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful.
looks like we do have another slight chance of some precipitation in a couple days. So that's good, but it's definitely not going to be anything like this. But that's what I thought this was going to be. Nothing. They ended up getting the forecast right, but it was like the day before the storm. Usually we're not this lucky. Pretty much every single time, we never get what is originally predicted. gets really redundant because every snowstorm different parts of town look look different sadly one thing we didn't get this season even though it's still possible it's still possible because we can get really good snowstorms throughout may or throughout april and then some just average snowstorms in may for the best case scenario but unfortunately we didn't get any monster monster storms this year that dumped many many feet of snow but some of our storms were good enough size where they could have brought three plus feet of snow but they brought mostly rain but again I know everyone loves snowpack <laughs> snowpack's always good it is but for us to fill up the lake, the rain is actually better than the snowpack. Do you want to know why? Some people tend to disagree with me, but it's just, it's a fact that rain will be better for your, for your lake than a snowpack. And the reason is, is because the snowpack, over time, a lot of it evaporates and it doesn't have a chance to melt and travel all the way down to the lake. Now, in the, in the higher elevations further from the lake, it is a bonus for the lake, for sure. 
because some some of that moisture could eventually make its way down to the lake but for the most part rain is what we need in this town to fill up this this beautiful lake and not this lake <laughs> but look at that look at that lake that's Baldwin Lake
this afternoon. Let me know, bro. I just love seeing the snow back here like this. Guys, over by the dam, I can't wait to get over there. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. shot of upper moon ridge and whatnot <clears throat> we're gonna go back through moon loaf but the other way it's still very sketchy but i prefer going uphill on this steep dirt road so we're gonna go do some more off-road adventure even though it's not much just to drive through moon ridge a bit upper moon ridge So we're going to turn left on Highway 38 right here to get to the back entrance to Sugarloaf.
guys have been able to see, the roads are fine up here. I don't know exactly how they're gonna be getting up here, but yesterday afternoon they had lifted all the chain, chain restrictions for all the roads. So that leads me to believe that you'll still be okay. We didn't get a whole bunch more accumulation, maybe an inch or two, since I did check that chain control report. I think probably the biggest house is in all of Big Bear. The only issue I have with it, that area is it's not in one of the, the snowier parts of town. I'd love to live in one of those huge mansions with a lot more snow. on Maple and take Maple to Barton Road and then we're gonna hang right on Barton Road and that's gonna take us all the way down to where Moonloaf would be located again Moonloaf is a way a, a little area that connects Sugarloaf to Upper Moon Ridge and it's saved me a lot of time, even though you're kind of driving a little bit out of the way to get there, and then usually you have to drive fairly slow because of the conditions. Um, sometimes there's so much traffic on Big Bear Boulevard, and to get from this side of town all the way over there, it can take a long time. And taking this route, you're usually not gonna have any issues. terms of traffic. Again, this is just a, a really neat little 
back route to uh, to get you from one side of town to the other. Four by four only. Stop, GPS is wrong, return to Big Bear Boulevard. That's what it says. Which is true because you don't wanna, if your GPS takes you this way to get to the other side of town, it's, and you didn't expect this, then it's gonna be trouble. I, I can guarantee you that. So just, yeah, be extra alert up here, guys. So now that it's, it's 38 degrees out here, this road going way up this steep hill, that's what we're taking right now. And it's gonna be slick as can be. There's water running all down through it right now. Oh man, yeah. We might be okay. We might be okay. Just maintain a decent uh, pace here. Oops, this is gonna be a big. up here guys it will push you to the right here you don't want to go to the right because there's a big cliff right there and this super is just the champ man I'm telling you and my snow tires help tremendously as well what a beautiful view look at that guys that is just spectacular. All right. Ooh, this is a big. Whoa, whoa. Leaning. But yeah, we, we made it through the part that always worries me the most. So I'm always glad to get that part out of the way. take this beautiful little area all the way through. It's not that long, long of a drive. Keep in mind, cars come both ways on this road, so it becomes a little bit tricky when you see other cars flying through here, or trucks and stuff, and they'll be flying through here, guys. We're just gonna coast through here a bit and watch out for some of these. Crazy little spots here. Yep, see, here comes a big truck right here. And perfect timing though. He had a little pull out there. Perfect timing. So we're gonna try to get through here a little bit faster to avoid any other potential for someone else coming through. We're almost out of here. They have some houses back here too, which is just crazy. Because this is not maintained by the city at all, so. That was nice. We made it. It's beautiful. Okay, this is going to be a big dip right here. back here isn't that something else this whole view right here this whole entire 
your drive. Look at that fresh, untouched snow. <laughs> Bless me, holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Well, again, we made it through Sugarloaf and we made it through Moonloaf. And now we just got to make it through Upper Moon Ridge. And the hardest part of this drive will be kaput. Oh, I really want one of these houses up here, guys. Look at how beautiful this street is, though, right? Isn't it something else? Nice little parking spot. How you doing today, sir? Oh, very well, thank you. Just cruising along, just walking along. So now we're starting to head down, folks. And we're gonna get a brief view of the lake. I'm gonna keep the camera pointed at that direction. Right there, you can see it right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big Bear is so beautiful. And I love it. Temperature is 37 degrees since we climbed up in the trees. It is colder way up here. I wouldn't deceive you or give you a smear. <laughs> and there is the ski resort, Bear Mountain. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks. Rachel wants to go skiing tomorrow. We're gonna be staying this next week at a hotel up here for many reasons one of them is because both of us with our jobs up here we can't leave town she can once in a while I can never leave town so the only way we can do any vacationing is to stay in town so we can still work but then just come back to the hotel which is good it's good enough for me because it gives me a different perspective when I wake up in the morning, being somewhere new, it's just refreshing.
is no way you're paying that much, bro. Okay, so right here, this ravine right here, it goes all the way through Moon Ridge, okay? It goes all the way through here. And if you guys go to the playlist, there is a video where I drove around to four different free sledding areas. This is one of, oh, look at, look at the donkey over there. Two donkeys. One donkey, two donkey, three donkey, four. Hello, donkeys. I want more. Hello, donkeys. Hang on, guys. Get a little picture of that. Hi, donkeys. How y'all doing today? So they're on the other side of the ravine, but it goes all the way through Moon Ridge. As I said, there's a playlist that shows you guys four free sledding locations. So you don't have to spend 45 bucks to go sledding. You just gotta make sure it's really important guys because I get hassled. It's very rare, but a small handful of, of, of locals gives me a lot of crap because I'm trying to give you guys a good time and save you guys money and stuff. Um, so it's really important out of respect for them that you guys please find the proper parking. Don't, don't just park where you feel like parking. It's, that's gonna get me in a lot of trouble. Like park where, where, you, where you can find some, somewhere to park legally, okay, please. <clears throat> Otherwise, I can't be showing you guys this stuff. I'm doing it because I love you guys. I really do love you guys and I wanna save you guys time. I wanna save you guys money. And I want you guys to have a great time. Something good about that ravine for sledding, you guys, is that you don't have to uh, worry about your kids sledding into the street. Here's part of the ravine here too, right there. Usually there's a little bit more snow over here, but this is still plenty of snow to get your sled on for sure. And the higher up you go from from where, where we just came in, into that little ravine area, there's more snow so basically the kids will be up on one side sled down a very steep slope it doesn't have to be steep you can find greens and blues and blacks for your sledding right there but the, the best part is is that once the kids get down to the bottom going super fast they're gonna start going right up the other side so they're never gonna have any any worries about any any danger when it comes to cars and stuff and for me, that's very important. Try to keep you guys as safe as I possibly can. And we're gonna drive by beautiful Bear Mountain right now. Because it is beautiful. It is beautiful in every single way. The snow kept coming. respect for these workers right here. I'll probably turn my camera away. Hey guys, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Did you hear that? As as I drove by, that, that dude said, hey, it's that guy. <laughs> I am that guy, you guys. I am always that guy. Oh yeah, beautiful bear. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's my reputation up here. I'm that guy. Guys, what I would love to do. So 
the one or two of you who's still watching, I wanted to get another channel going or maybe add something to this channel. Thank goodness I've made it Big Bear Weather and more, okay? So what do you guys think about this? And if I do this, I'm, I'm gonna need investors to help out, um, to help the channel get going. So basically, I don't know if, if any of you watch those like uh, social experiment channels and um, just channels where you're giving random people cash just to make their day and brighten their day. That's something that I've, I've, I've wanted to do for years. And it was, it, it, it's an idea I, I had for a YouTube channel, not necessarily to make money, but because I wanted, I wanted people to see that there still are good people out there. And I've, I've been thinking about this for, for years and more and more channels have come out that actually do that. And I think it's a really, really beautiful thing. And I think the, the more people we have out here doing stuff like that, the more generous it's, it's gonna make other people because they are gonna see that, you know what? Humanity is not a waste. Um, we, we are salvageable. So like basically what, what would have been super cool is as I'm driving by them, hand them each a hundred dollar bill and just get their reactions. You know, I mean, that's like, guys, this, this is something that I really, really, really want to do. And as I said, what I would need is for a bunch of us on this channel to pitch in towards a fund for the donation and you know, however we can track it just so everyone knows that every penny is going towards these donations. Um, I'm, I'm happy to figure out any way to, to have it perfectly documented and, uh, because I don't want anyone thinking that their, their money isn't going towards what I want to do. But I mean, if, if we could get like, I don't know, to start maybe like five grand, four or five thousand dollars, and then maybe every month, something like that, until that channel starts to earn me enough money to where I, I can use the channel's money, um, that would be absolutely huge. And something that would be cool is that those of you who, who donate for that cause, who send a good chunk of money, you can come be in these videos with me. For instance, like we'll go to the grocery stores, um, we'll be in line behind somebody and we will take, take care of their, go, 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 go. Take care of their groceries, right? Um, and also some other type social experiments is we'll pretend that we're homeless. Obviously it'd be hard for me to do it in this town because ev ev everyone knows me. So we'd have to go to like Lake Arrowhead or, or even somewhere down the mountain. And, uh, and you know, essentially panhandle and see who's willing to, you know, give and whatever someone gives, we'll, we'll give them a hundred times in return. I've seen some some other channels doing doing something similar, and like it just it just brings tears to my eyes every single time, and it's so beautiful, and I can never get enough of watching that beauty, of watching people being so excited and just so thrilled that someone's doing that for them. And again, I think it, it would be a, a huge thing for humanity to see more and more of these generous acts. So what do you guys think? Again, I, I know it's just one of you still watching because this is such a long video and it's we're about not just, just past halfway done. So there's still a, a lot to go, but I want to give you guys a good aftermath video. But yeah, so tell me what you guys think. Um, you know, I, I wanna go to gas stations, pay people's uh, gas bills, get their reactions. And then on the social experiment side of that, I also wanna like bring a gas can and just ask random people at the pumps, like, hey man, I'm, I just ran out of gas. I'm, I'm super desperate. I just need a couple gallons to get home. 
I'm not asking for cash, I'm asking for gas. Would you please consider helping me out? And uh, whoever helps me out will pay for their whole gas tank. Um, obviously d divulging to them that we don't necessarily need need the gas. It's just a social experiment. Um, these these are things that I really want to do, you guys. And and again, it, it's 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 going to take a nice little infusion of cash to start. But um, as I said, I would I would document everything. Um, I'm not smart enough to really figure out how to do that exactly to where everyone could could check on on the funds and what we have but I really want to do stuff like that I, I just don't think I could be any more fulfilled in my life than doing this for other people putting huge smiles on their faces you know but again most of the channel will will probably be social type experiments dropping a, a, a wad of cash as I'm walking by someone and pretending like I didn't realize that I dropped like 500 bucks and if they give it back then we're going to bless them with like you know 10 times that just stuff like that. And I promise you guys, I've, I've been thinking about this for years, for years. And a, a good friend of mine, Luis Farfan, he lives up here, one of the nicest guys. We were going to do something like that maybe four years ago, start to do something like that. Um, but again, money was an issue um, I'm just hoping that people see after so many years of me doing this channel that I am a trustworthy person and if if people were willing to help to do this that would be great I am gonna have to get a really killer camera to have a, a cameraman there with me Obviously, I'll figure out how to take care of the cameraman and stuff. Um, I, I can buy myself some of those mics that go on your shirt, like on the inside, just so, uh, you know, there's no visible mic. So none of it's obvious. I don't, I don't want it to be obvious. Seriously, what do you guys think about that? I just need investors for it. And we can we can get this thing going right away. And I'm I'm certain that this type of channel will generate a lot of views and therefore eventually generate a good amount of money. So we can do this a lot and further out. line to get into the village we were going to go through the village right now but it's going to be just not that not that great because of all this traffic so there's the village and there it isn't <laughs> you know what one of my my biggest concerns about this new channel is though is that i get very emotional especially seeing seeing folks that could really use that that hand up like that get blessed in such a way like I'd, I'll, I'll be in tears the whole whole entire video so I'm hoping doing it enough I'll be able to hold back my feelings like that and just stick to the script you know but it's really 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 difficult and you guys are used to me going on on Big Bear Boulevard I didn't think about how right now there's going to be ton of traffic leaving town because it is Sunday and I mean we're definitely going the wrong way on Big Bear Boulevard out there to to avoid traffic we should have gone the other way around the lake but that's okay <laughs> this is the way we're gonna go 
and we're going to take a nice shortcut, cut off as much of Big Bear Boulevard as we can to avoid this traffic. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys more and more about my idea for this new channel. frustrated with the conversation that I just had on the phone you guys not not frustrated just kind of annoyed So we are on a street called uh, Edgemore, and one of our biggest marinas is here on Edgemore as well. And hang on, what you could do is put a stop to that credit card payment, bro. Contact your credit card company and explain to them what happened. snake in the road. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. This is going to be probably nasty traffic leaving right now. Ugh. Oy vey. Well, bro, I appreciate that. And as I said, we're going to do everything we can, at least I am, to help you out. Again, you're one of my only friends up here. So oh, here's this. This traffic isn't too bad right here, but I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna start to uh, back up a bit as we get closer to the dam, to the Jean-Claude Van Dam. listening for me. I'm going to be driving by your place in about two and a half minutes and I'm going to give you a little honky. You're welcome, Augie. You are very welcome, dude. August, Augie Chavez. Look at these kids sledding right here. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitties. Having some sledding fun. Alright, so the air compressor is going to be going for a minute here. 
it's going to be very annoying, so I am going to roll down the window to try to offset that sound with the air coming in from outside. Boulder Bay, baby. Beautiful Boulder Bay. place has changed so much you guys it's, it's just crazy crazy it just doesn't feel like the same big bear from from when I used to visit and and even when I first moved up here I don't know what it is maybe it's less snow overall when I was a kid you guys again we would only come up here during snowstorms and stuff and and going skiing and usually we would time it to be here for, for snowstorms and I'm, I was always used to seeing so much snow up here it just it just I, I, I don't know there are so many things up here that just feel so so different and not not in a good way I still love it it's, it's my new hometown. I love it to death. But I just wish that that we would get some more of those massive snowstorms. And... It's super sad. are filled up pretty quickly right there which is nice different person because I want to brake check this guy behind me so bad. He's he's literally like touching my bumper. Again guys don't forget I am human. I am human. I still get frustrated about things. You guys have taught me how to uh, how to let it go and without freaking out about it. But I am frustrated right now. Dam now. Part of the drive you guys this is gonna be epic 
because we're going to get some incredible views of the lake and the mountain and it's going to be very clear because all this precipitation definitely cleared out a lot of the uh, dirty air and to be honest guys there's not that much dirty air up here anyway it's pretty great up here because all all that smog from down the mountain usually stays trapped at like on that side of, of the mountain and it doesn't rise up high enough usually to uh, float its way in here so we get lucky we do get lucky let me see if Augie responded to me did you hear it brother One more thing for this channel, or for this new channel that I've been wanting to create for years, is another aspect would be um, doing some chapters of it to pay people's rent. And again, these are ideas I, I have seen already, and these are ideas that I have thought of before seeing it. And again, it, it, it brings me to my knees, seeing how grateful these people are that some random person is just going to going and knocking on, on their door, essentially asking them, hey, what, what do you pay for rent here? Or if you don't pay rent, do you have a mortgage? What are you paying? And then busting out a bunch of $100 bills and paying your paying their rent. Obviously, I would I would try to find homes that I I assume are between like 700 and 1500 a month type thing to start. But I mean, guys, this is this is something I really want to do. I really 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 want to do it. I'm not afraid to use my own money. I don't have much. I don't have much at all. But what I do have saved, I I'd, I'd be more than willing to use it just for the feeling I would get. And that's selfish, right? Because it'll make me feel so good. That is kind of a selfish thing, but everybody wins. I get to feel good, have such a fulfilling day, feeling every emotion in one day a human can possibly feel. I just hope I, I, I can avoid the anger, but at the same time, being angry, happy, sad, numb, just uh, blah, all, all these different types of emotions if you can feel all of those in a, a 24 hour period you've had a full day and you're living life no one wants to feel pain no one wants to feel anger but it is it is something that will make you feel like you're alive to feel every single emotion daily and we got someone behind us since we want to go a little bit slower we're gonna let them pass we're gonna find a little place to pull over and let these guys pass here. He said thank you. I love it. Guys, little things like that make me so happy. So he put on his hazards as he passed me to say thanks. It's not that hard to be kind, you guys. It's really not but we get so many people that come up here who don't even wave and like or in their rear view like hey thank you and for me I don't know why but I let those things get to me <laughs> it's a, I don't know why I just do but anyway oh man I've always wanted to be a philanthropist I never knew how I was going to get there financially. I always knew that someday I will get there. And hopefully, again, you guys can help me out here. I might even try to convince a bank to loan me like 20 or 30 grand. And I'll pay all the interest on it and whatnot just to get this new channel going. 
How many people are going to get a twenty or thirty thousand dollar loan and just give away all the money? Not that many people. And again, the more people that see that these things are happening, the more it's going to trigger other people to want to do things like this. And I think it's a beautiful thing. I don't see anything, you know, fake about being kind to people just because you're recording it. I'm not doing it to get any recognition. Couldn't care less about that. I'm doing it because I want to see other people's expressions on their faces when they're being blessed like that. That to me is everything. Absolutely everything. We are entering fawn skin. Holy cow, bro, no way. Okay, let's see here. So we're coming up to a hotel called, um, <laughs> the Outpost Big Bear. You can't book it anywhere other than outpostbigbear.com. You can't go to Expedia and, and book this place. You can't go to hotels.com and book this place. There's no one behind us, so don't trip, but this is the outpost. And again, I've, I've done, since I know a lot more about it now, because I never saw it on Expedia, so I never thought about it. But now that I know a lot more about it, guys, the place is amazing. Fairly priced. I think it's around a buck fifty per night during the week. And here is the tributary that some of the rooms sit on. Look at that, guys. You'll be sitting right there on, on the right-hand side. That's gonna be where your hotel room is. like, And they're individual cabins. But I want you guys to check that place out. Give, give them business. Um, I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. I think you guys will be stoked. Again, you have to go to outpostbigbear.com and go on to Google, check the place out, read about it. This is another small business up here. I was able to talk to one of the owners also, just a wonderful person. All of them, all three owners are like famous people. One of them, she is a senior writer for ESPN. Like, how crazy is that? Um, and her husband is a, a professional stuntman and some other things along those lines. And the third third lady, she's a professional stuntman also and one of the best, like, uh, like motocross females of all time. Um, they're all famous people. And they just seemed so down to earth and, and so kind and so sweet. They took over that place in 2020 or 2021 and they completely remodeled, updated, seems like they gutted it and then rebuilt. So I guess that's what a, a remodel would be for the most part. But yeah, guys, the Outpost Big Bear, give give them a shot. I will be staying there hopefully, hopefully soon. I wanted to stay there this week but because we're staying at this other hotel and it's a lot more expensive than I initially anticipated, I'm not gonna be able to stay somewhere else for probably maybe three weeks to a month, but I really wanna stay here while there's snow. I think the video that I produce for you guys will be a lot better, make this place look even better than it already is when there's snow around. So just be patient with me for the outpost because I'd like to do that for y'all. That would make me happy. That would make me very happy. Beautiful view, folks. Beautiful view. Hang on a second, guys. AJ, I'm I'm in the middle of doing my aftermath video. Could I call you back as soon as I'm done, my brother? All right. 
and on the on the what now brother So, uh, like, the the address or something like that. Or okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 You know what? Let's, um, when you're off work, why don't you just hit hit me up and then, uh, yeah, you just, uh, yeah. I, I, I'd appreciate it. And bro, as always, you're amazing. Thank you. I know you do, man. No, dude, you are you are absolutely amazing, man. I'm so blessed that you are a, a, a really a really good friend of mine, man. God bless me big time with that. All right, Jay. You have a great great day at work, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Jay, buddy. Bye. Gosh, I love that guy so much. He is so wonderful. Sorry about that, guys. I I have to be working while I'm doing these videos also. Dun, 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 dun. So guys, I've always, I've probably five or six times played one of my friend's songs. Um, his YouTube channel is The Solo Gigging Life. Like gigging for playing music and stuff. The Solo Gigging Life. Or uh, Jeffrey Dean Music. Jeffrey Dean Music. I really want to play one of the songs from from him it's it's he's he's just so he is so unbelievably good at what he does um he's one of the coolest people i've i've, I've ever met he used to be somewhat of a famous artist um and played in uh in like big well-known well-known bands rock bands back in the day and he's just so so talented i believe he's playing every instrument in these songs like he's as I said, solo gigging life. But yeah, let's listen to this song because we're coming up to the end of the drive. And again, it's Jeffrey Dean Music on YouTube or The Solo Gigging Life is another one of his channels. Just the sweetheart, guys. So let's, let's play his song here. The whole album's good, but this is my favorite. Favorite. It's so good.
sick, huh? I love that song. Like, I love that song. And as I said, his whole album is great. Like, he's, he's, he's really talented, guys. So check him out, Jeffrey Dean Music on YouTube or The Solo Gigging Life. Those are his two YouTube channels. He lives up here, too. I met him because he's a fan of the channel, and uh, I'm a fan of him. So, Well, cool, guys. Thank you for everything. Don't forget to help support your boy. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com and get yourself some merch. And as I always say, wear it with pride, please. Wear it with pride. We've worked hard for this, guys. And also, there are other ways you can help donate to the channel. It's it's very helpful, guys. I, I can always, always use it. And it's absolutely, absolutely, extraordinarily helpful. I can always promise you guys I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to stop doing this. I'm always going to do the very best I can either way. But the help is super, super helpful. So thanks again for everything, guys. Don't forget, for your ski and snowboard rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. And, uh, yeah, just have an absolutely marvelous rest of your Sunday. And I will be talking to you guys sooner than later. Of course, this is going to be the last video for this storm. But we might do one more live feed, so hop on over and check out the live feed. All right? Peace out, guys.